How's it going, guys? Who's back here again with some more Brawl for an MTG Arena today? That a Gandalf, friend of the Shire deck. So the idea behind this deck is to mainly get benefit off his first ability. You may cast sorcery spells as though they have flash. And then we will not be casting a portent of calamity for zero. Feels bad, man. I was testing out decks earlier today, and um, a real fruit monster. That's a problem. It's not a problem I can do anything about. We put them for a while and don't hit anything. We're pretty sad. Ideally, we want to do it for at least five. We can catch the spare cards. But this guy. Okay, so we probably. We probably wait a little bit. It's too funny. I gotta take this. I was originally gonna take uh, a mass bounce spell just to have an answer to a RS Hope Sworn, but hmm, it's probably gone now. Yes, it doesn't matter too much. I would like to steal their tutor as well. I'm going to go ahead and crack this. You can't get. Just gonna enter off here, I think. Group of five. This means that we can portent next turn, portent calamity to actually solve problems. It just is a question of whether or not it'll actually solve problems. Our deck is built around the uh, around that line of text, so most of our answers and things are all our sorceries. good mass bounce sorceries and there's even a couple of sorceries that just plain exile a creature they're not frequent enough yeah i think we had to port even if we don't draw a land i would like to draw a land and then get up to five That would be nice. Taken five. Mm -hmm. You can also draw a bounce spell for the cat, or no, for the for the deep cavern bat. You do not be a cat. Ah. I actually think we play this now. Put that on top. Calamity X5. Uh, it's a one of each card type. So, Creature UQ. It's a good start, but maybe we should have just exiled one. Not 
much dead. We need that mass bounce spell now. We can mind a desire to uh try to hit it. That could work. Maybe. I haven't played around with uh but uh it's everything out. GG. Sorcery Tribal did not have a good first outing. We just didn't find our mass bounce until it was a little bit too late. We have many options. Unfortunately, our opponent slow rolled a hand disruption. We don't know for sure they slow rolled, but they might have just opt it on turn four instead of playing it on turn two. I mean, instead of having it and not playing it, right? We don't know for sure. This is a reasonable start to probably art on three. <laughs> okay. Uh, that right there is the uh, the mono blue tax in Brawl, where uh, occasionally you just win games by being mono blue because you don't play anything on turn two and your opponent assumes that you are uh, counter, counter spell death ball which is, uh, unfortunately, it, is it unfortunate that it's a thing? It's unfortunate in some regards, and unfortunate in other regards. Like, it, uh, can keep certain decks from being degenerate, just like an Omnath pile or something of similar ilk, where it's, uh, I'm gonna play 40 things in a turn because I got this off on turn three, right? Like, it can help pin in snowball decks, but at the same time, there are some decks that just fold to hard control very badly. And uh, it only really becomes an issue when the hard control deck is head and shoulders above the aggro that the format can produce, right? And I think. Currently in Brawl, aggro decks still stand a pretty good chance. Like, a turn two counterspell is sometimes just not enough. Exhibition. Not really what I wanted to throw away, but. Through back? Oh, we are not in green. I mean, this man can kill us. Okay, profit. I think I'm going to get down Vial first. Relic of Legend is very powerful, but without Gandalf, it's not going to do much. Mono Blue Pile versus Mono Blue Pile. Although I think like, if this is a mill deck, which I don't see why it wouldn't be. Is it not a mill deck? Um, what? That'll leave me with two mana. I think we try to flash in Gandalf, even though it probably won't work. It means that if we draw five mana, we can at least cast something of value. Titania sleeves. Very cool. I mean, this is in my deck. This should be in my deck. I don't know. Oh, it's uh. Don't like that. It's 
So they copy a brew back and then like what happened? I don't want to draw land. Decline. We really can go because we're too far away from casting it. I guess you can go too. You're actually not great for me. We are still dying to Brewback Beats because he is a powerful boy. He's not really a powerful boy. Prof's aesthetic memory it makes him a powerful boy. Ouch, we have like one turn to answer that. Take your turn. We gotta try Flood of Tears. I don't think it's gonna work, but we have to try it. So they can't actually cast a uh, a horror anymore unless they have land. Memory. I'm gonna pay free life for this. Put down my vial. Cast a wondering. Like, if Wondering gets reset, not sad. It means I didn't get to use it, but I also get the trigger, the cast trigger again. So it's kind of a good thing to have against the boy that is Holbreak for. It would be nice if I could six and five. But I don't think we are going to be able to. I guess we play... We had to play five, basically. I'm sad. Make a few fairies. We get down to Kermit and Gauntlet. And then we turbo one ring to find answers. That's the plan anyways. If they hope break for or bounce something, I'm not sad. That's probably oh god. I'm just dead. Never mind. I am very sad. GG. We should not have tapped out. The fear of our open blue mana was what was keeping us alive. One more game. It's gonna be a sad Sad term of events for Gandalf. We can't feel at least one game. To be fair, the main ideal of the deck was to change the spell speed of spells to see how they how that affects how they're playable. 
right? Because sorcery we can only play during our turn. And being able to cast them with flash means that they're instant speed, basically. And some sorceries are sorceries based on being based on being restricted to your turn as a time to cast. I get free ball. This is I can't afford to get mana screwed in a game where I don't know exactly what our opponent's gonna be up to. The Agra decks tend to be very creature focused, but they don't always have to be. I'm gonna take the other the third land or fourth land for safety purposes so that my fable passage is not a tap land. Then we're gonna go into Brown Breaker, I think. Runebreaker gives us the option to just ramp. Which I think we're going to take. Didn't work out. We want to get up to six and seven as quickly as possible. So if we can ramp off of our opponent, we have to, I think. Shatterfang. Ouch. Mm. Land, please. All right, we got to land. We are taking too much damage, though. When it doesn't play a land, if you don't play a land. This is a little less brutal. So look at how much they played in such a short amount of time. They have a phenomenally low curve. I'm taking 13. Down to 6. Not a good start. Or off. I think I play my birds. Extra turn time. The next one. Didn't find what I wanted. River Rebuke. Return it all to hand. They can draw a bunch of cards if they want to. Two counters for two food is a uh, is a good deal. Well, uh, four counters for two food. Every time a creature dies. So we can get Jin Cataxius next turn. Do something. So we play this. We grab Jen. Grab two Jens. Okay. Swing in for two. Do this. Shuts off some things. Okay. 
Fate Blue Land. I did really run Misty and other fetches in here just so I can get the Mystic Sanctuary when I need it. I'm gonna copy that chain Cataxius. Copy that chain Cataxius. Do this. Oh, that actually works. I did not think that would work. Really good. Lightning bolt can probably go. I can't cast it as a problem. Blood of tears. Demonic Tutor, Crossing Rift. Probably Demonic Tutor. Um... I can't search up a one mana black thing. So, uh... Leaving it here, I think. Hoping our chins survive, and that next turn we can uh, just time warp kill out of nowhere. Are you going to sacrifice everything to get rid of a Jin Cataxius? No, we're drawing cards. We might still just be dead, though. Because of this guy. It makes rats that make squirrels that make me sad. Yes, opponent, I see that you have infinite tokens. And infinite card draw. Cannot concede the game on those alone. You gotta close my windows for victory before I'll consider it. Oh, no, pass. Maybe I won't have to respond to triggers, but I probably still will. Because that therapy arena, baby. The frog might or um, no mirror and forth, not frog might.
can only do this 63 more times. Theory they can draw their entire deck, but they need five black mana to uh kill all my blockers with squirrels to uh fully win the game. So unfortunately, I still think I cannot concede. With infinite squirrels, they can use Chatterfang to sacrifice 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. They can sacrifice 22 squirrels. That'll get rid of all the blockers. But in order to do that, they need 5 black men. They need more than that. They need seven black mana. They have infinite card draw and infinite tokens, but they don't have infinite mana. And they are running through their timeouts. But unfortunately, I don't think it's... Normally, we just can see, right? But I don't think in this circumstance you're in a position to fully concede because this, this, and this don't do it on their own. If they have a trample spell, that would do it, but they're uh, slow rolling it awful hard. I think I'm going to come back when all of this is done. After all that, our opponent found a black cat, and that's it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.